Hey, I know it's been like a long time since I did a video, but this seemed like a, I don't know, nice welcome back thing. So if you weren't aware, last weekend was the Manila Fountain Pen show. I think the last time that we had that was in 2019. And then the pandemic happened, so I don't think it, 2018, 2019, I, I'm really, I'm not sure anymore, but anyway i wanted to share this small haul that i got i never really promised myself that i wasn't gonna get anything nor did i say i was gonna get anything so this was just something that i don't know i really liked this is a leather cover for the hobonichi weeks this is from leather library i know you're probably wondering what i'm doing with the hobonichi weeks but the thing is i've always wanted to try the weeks to the point that um, I've been looking for even like the past years. I didn't really need the one of the current year because I just wanted to play around and try it out. And someone was de-stashing a week that was really cheap of the current year. So I decided to get it. And I'm going to fill this out the way I would have if I used a week's. Now, Maybe if I didn't have a traveler's notebook, this would be a very close second to what I'd consider using. But anyway, me using a week's is going to be an entirely different video. I changed my camera angle so I, know, I can show this better. I believe this is in the nude blush color. But I like the grains, I like the lines, and yeah, see? It's very simple, even the branding is simple, which I really like. It's not like in your face, like, hello, but yeah, no nothing, no, no pockets. I mean, I just really want a sleeve anyway. So when I was going through the store, well, she had a stall, like, all of the leather stuff that she had, leather covers. She had, like, for the regular passport, the... I don't know, she had a lot of covers, and they were all nice. Like, they had, like, those different colors, and um, they also had front pockets, but I really wasn't drawn on the whole pocket. But, look, I, I changed. Anyway, so I really like this cover that I also got one for A5. And I had such a hard time thinking if I was going to get the tan, the nude, or beige, or a darker color. But the thing is, I don't have a light colored cover. And since this is pretty new, I mean, wouldn't this be nice in a traveler's notebook? But anyway, um, these are the two things that I got. This has my nothing planner for now. I mean, I could probably move my thinking of you book here. But, I don't think you can see. I really like this. I don't know why. And then, she was also saying that some people didn't like it, like, having these things. But, I was really fine with it. I, I kind of liked it. I wasn't really drawn onto the, the whole two-color thing. Like, the pocket was going to be a different color from the cover. So, maybe I'm just not a pocket person. I don't know. I just want things simple, so... I wasn't able to film much during the pen show, but this was her display. I hope you can see it. But yeah, this was her display. And she had so much nice things. There was this one in olive green, and look at that. There was one in olive green, but I didn't want to buy another green cover because I already have a green cover, but when did that stop us from buying covers? I mean, so... If you're looking for covers, and it's the texture that I really like. I don't know how to describe it, but it's the smooth but green textured leather. You just have to try it, I guess. But yeah, uh, highly, highly recommend. If you want to look into like simple leather covers, I'd go for this. And that is all the planner stuff I got. Yeah. I think that's all I got for planners. I didn't get much, so yeah. There you go. So if you want to see the sides, I'm really not doing a good job of like showing you. 
because if I like it, I just like it. But yeah, see, this is in nude blush. I got the pair and I really like it. So let's see how this ages and let's go to the next. So sometimes I really don't know what's going on in my head, but it's not like I needed more inks and it's not like they were on a sale price thing, but I got more inks. If we're going to be talking about favorite ink brands, Robert Oster inks are one of the top that I have in mind. And of course, I got them. I'm currently on a green kick lately. So I got Oklahoma. I got Moss. And then I tried this blue one. This is Chicago. Oh, sorry. It's Chicago. And surprisingly, I have a pink one, and this is Cherry Blossom. I don't know what I was thinking, but I got a pink one. This is a Hobonichi A6 Day Free that I use as an ink journal. The, I swear this is going to be in another more detailed video, but I made this into swatches. Now, since I got those two new inks, I already swatched them for you. So this was Robert Oster's Moss. And this is Oklahoma. So I'm trying to get them as close as I can. But there you go. So I'm filming on my phone instead of my camera because I feel like if I do like these like really close shots, it's better on my phone. But anyway, so there you go. I hope I don't make you dizzy. But yeah, this is Moss and Oklahoma. Now, on a quick note, the reason why I swatch my inks on the calendar, it's because it makes me, it makes it easier for me to keep track of how many inks I have. Like, for the greens, I know I have 18 inks. So even without having to, like, count and stuff, it's just already going to be like, oh, I, I have 18. And since I haven't really, I don't really de-stash inks as much. Or at least the ones here are the ones that I have kept. So, again, it's a pretty good gauge on how many inks I have, especially, like, per color thing. I also have this in blue, which I'm also going to share because I also have one in Chicago, the one I got. This is Chicago. Oops, sorry. Focus. This is Chicago. Can you see it? Wait, give me one sec. There you go. This is Chicago and it's a really nice blue ink. So even the same concept follows. If I have this, I know I have 15 blue inks. And then I skip like a month so it doesn't like sponge and all. And apparently I have a lot of brown inks. So brown inks, I also have 19. I'm going to be labeling them. I have like a cheat sheet but this is a long story i'll film this some other time but yeah so for browns i have 19 inks and this is the cherry blossom hurry and focus there you go i actually have pink inks if you'd notice but this is like reds and pinks and peaches and nudes because i don't really have that much of each for it to have like its own month or count but yeah and then i have and then i have a few purples i'm not really a purple ink person obviously because i only have like four but these are the only ones that i have and i have i don't like black ink so i'm looking for like the perfect gray inks this is graphite of course, I memorized it, but this is graphite from Robert Oster, and this is muddy swamp from Robert Oster as well. I'm gonna be adding like another swatch here soon, but that's how my ink journal is, and I'll be adding some like little writings as well. But that's a whole different video. Let me know if you're interested in how I did this, and I'll edit and I'll share it with you guys soon. But that's how I keep track of my inks. On Inks is a fairly new brand, or at least for me, because I've only heard of them during the talk of the pen show. 
but this is a local brand made in the Philippines yeah and I like that they had these 20 ml bottles because I really am not sure if I can finish a 50 ml but anyway so I got this in roasted seaweed in purple heartwood and laing laing is like coconut milk and I, I can't remember what kind of veggies or leaves they're in but I really like laing but not the spicy one because I'll die but I like laing enough they ran out of the fifth of uh, the 20 mil so they only had the 50 which I had to go back because I, w I got this during the Saturday of the Saturday event and then I got this yesterday which is Sunday and I was really contemplating if whether I needed like a 50 mil bottle but then the lying was so nice and I mean these two the, anyway I'm gonna show you the swatches but you're gonna understand why I've gone crazy this is the last of the inks this is the diamine diamine diamond ink uh suman it is a found it, it it's the manila fountain pen exclusive ink and i'm so glad that the time that i really was into green inks was like now and all, most of the green inks that they released are so nice so i did not hesitate on getting this but i i'm not really Honestly, I'm not really a fan of Diamine because the last, the first and last ink I had, I had Oxblood and it dried, it took like months to dry. I don't know why, but it felt like, well, not felt because it actually smudged. I had like entries last March and then I was writing in August and then I just like brushed my hand on the side and it still smudged. So after that, I never really bothered with any of the inks of diamine and this is the second time i'm trying this particularly because it's green if it weren't green i honestly wouldn't have bothered but it's a big bottle so there and i honestly think this is going to be like my replacement for like the typical black inks and yeah i think i'm gonna this might be my everyday ink this is the laing ink swatch that was from on inks and this is suman from diamine so far it's not smudging so i'm hopeful that this is something i can regularly use from now on so these are the four inks i got four green inks that I got from the Fountain Pen Show. What is a pen show without a pen? This isn't gonna be an unboxing anymore because I do not have the EQ to actually not try this pen out as soon as I got home. But I got the Pilot Vanishing Point in matte black in extra fine. Pilot pens in extra fine are practically the best for me. It's exactly how fine i want my all my pens to write so this is the pilot has been the basis of extra fine for me which technically becomes extra extra fine for most of my pens which is exactly why i have to have them i have to have like some nib work done which is being nib ground to an extra extra fine but anyway uh this is the vanishing point in matte black and it's a knock pen and one of the issues that I've heard people say is that the clip bothers them when they write. So even if I wanted this pen for such a long time, I really had to wait and try it out because I didn't want to spend on a pen I wasn't going to use. And it's not just because of the nib anymore because the nib doesn't bother me anymore since I can always send my pens to JP. He's a nibsmith here in Manila whom I like send almost all my pens to so it doesn't really bother me anymore if the fine or extra fine isn't good enough i just send it to him and it works like magic already but yeah anyway for this pen it was really the clip that bothered people mostly because that's where the nib is and the grip the grip part 
bothers people some at least it bothers some people but when i borrowed this pen i actually stayed in a little corner i asked the seller if i could just like hold it and stuff and i tried to write the way i'd write i know the way i grip a pen is like not the most conventional thing you've seen and i've gotten i think yeah anyway that's another story but when i tried writing with it with the way i grip my pen i didn't really feel like it was such a bother but i understand where people are coming from why some have destashed their vanishing points or their decimals but i really like this pen i i've gotten messages like people are like you didn't get it in white i mean there was a white one but it was in medium and i really didn't want to spend extra anymore to have it ground to an extra extra fine especially since there was one that was available in extra fine so i got the black one for a change and i think this just might be the pen that i bring with me everywhere since i don't have to worry about the cap and all that and i'm excited to use this oh and a quick story time so uh the seller was alden and i wasn't able to meet the actual person so it was one of his um staff or assistant who was the one attending to me and thank you sir so much for this and it was funny because when i when i was there i held it first and then i let it go and then there was another person looking at it and i was fine and then i said to myself that if i got back and the pen was still there it was really meant for me you know like it's my excuse for not shopping so much but when i got back the pen was there and so two of my friends whom i went to the fountain pen show with were outside the selling area well it was still the selling area but it wasn't like the inside part so i what i did was i wanted their opinion in the pen and i couldn't drag them inside anymore so what i did shamelessly looking at it now it was really silly so i asked the guy if i could borrow the pen so i gave him my phone to hold just to make sure like to give him to keep him at ease that i was really gonna come back because he had my phone and i quickly ran out like the next like door and i showed this to both my friends and they were like how on earth were you able to get a pen without paying for it i was like no it's okay i left my phone with the seller i just needed your opinion on if you were gonna like this pen and we were laughing and then they were both just saying that you should just get it we were all laughing and then they told me to get it because it was really a nice pen and i just i honestly felt unsure because it was black because this is the first black pen that i have i'm normally just a white or a clear like demonstrator body person or blue but never this dark so this is the first time i've owned or bought a black pen but but it's really the nib that got to me and it is absolutely nice it's exactly how an extra fine pen i expect it to be like the fine lines let me let me get you a sample of that writing when i tried it i think it is i think this is this hello look how fine that is and i absolutely love it i don't know if you can see just how gorgeous it is but yeah that's how fine it is this is how oh no that's an i think this is another wait sorry this is how a nib ground extra extra fine twist be writes for me and this is how a pilot extra fine looks like so if you can see but that's how gorgeously extra fine it is and yeah so that's it for my haul and i hope you guys enjoyed and that's what i got let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite part of this haul but definitely for me i want to give this a try these are the local inks that i got these are the robert oster ones and 
honestly, I am happy. These are all green inks, but I'm happy. So I hope to get back into making more videos. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.